I'm learning to Kai, and as I visited several places, I decided to make a video for the best kiting spot for beginners. Let me start with strong candidate on the list. It's Akiyaka in Turkey. conditions are really good. The spot is located between two mountains ranges, which gives us extra bust in form of thermal wind. This guarantee you good conditions every day. Sometimes it is only two or three hours, but you can be sure to kite every single day of your stay. The sun needs to heat up the air, so usually you don't have to be on spot before 11. The wind and gusts stay close to each other, but you have to keep in mind that due to thermal effect, the wind is starting slowly and then reaching its peak performance, which can force you to change the kite in the middle of the session. The water is warm and pleasing in the summer, but in September you already need a wetsuit to enjoy kite surf. Spot. This is one of the best locations I've been. onshore and you can walk back a while as the water is shallow, which makes it a perfect place for learning. You will always end up on the beach. The location is nicely prepared with plenty room for your equipment and you have the possibility to take lessons or rent kite and the people are really supportive when it goes for starting or landing your kite. There are plenty of options for accommodations, but what set this spot apart is food. The specific of Turkish culture are appetizers known as mez. There can be served both cold and warm, the number of different combinations of serving vegetables, seafood and even meat take it possible to have a nice meal even without reaching to the main dish. Akiaka is quite easy to reach from Europe. Flights go through Istanbul and it takes several hours to reach your destination. While in Akiaka, the place is in the middle of nowhere. The next attraction, for example Pamukkale, is two and a half hours away. This combined with the wind starting after 11 makes this place kite only location. Zanzibar. We are entering exotic location where you feel like in paradise.
sunny. The water is so warm that you can spend hours in it. And there is always sun. We have only one rainy night during our stay, the beginning of January. By choosing the location, you have to look carefully for the tides. We went in the period where the tide difference was the highest, and this usually come without any wind. We could kite only for two days. And when we do have wind, it was stable, basically without guests. It was really easy to control your kite. And here was the first time when I enjoyed kite surfing. The wind is cross on shore, so you eventually will come back to the beach. However, as a beginner, you won't probably be able to kite upwind which will mean a nice walk at the end of your session. The water is clear and flat. You can find the ground almost to the reef, but there are spots with sea arching. As the water is clear and the sea arching are grouped more or less in cluster, you really don't need issues, but they are there. And where there is a wind, it's one of the best places to start your adventure with kite surfing. The rental possibilities are quite good. Only one thing you have to remember to book your own insurance but it was quite easy going to rent a kite get it if you show that you can control it you can ride on your own as mentioned we didn't kite much and we have opportunities to see local attractions try different water activities as snorkeling, surfing or underwater ring. Really fun. There is also rescue place for animals for Chita Rock, which is a must see while you're on Zanzibar. So it is extremely interesting and fun, but as on any island, options are limited. And a second trip, uh, there wouldn't be much to explore. Food is the weakest point of Zanzibar, where even seafood doesn't taste well. The main highlights were two Italian restaurants, where several people stated that they eaten the best pizza in the world. But if you like to explore, taste local food, then it is not much to enjoy there. Destination is quite far away from Europe. It's 24 hours trip. Uh, you have to take at least one connecting flight. So the trip is quite challenging. On the other hand, Zanzibar is uh, part of Tanzania. So you can always book a safari, which in case of no wind will be the great alternative. And it's must see at least once in your life. Coming to the second paradise destination on the list, Mauritius. to Mauritius in European summer, which means that we are here in winter time. Temperatures are between 21 and 24 degrees Celsius and the water is quite fresh. You need to use wetsuits and during the day you have to count with a rain. The biggest advantage of this spot is in Blue Bay was stable wind. The wind was also quite strong. I was using kites between 8 and 11, whereas in other locations I was using 12 to 14. The wind on this spot is cross onshore, but there is one caveat. You have coral reef just at the beach. On this spot you have both 
boats which will take you to clear waters but especially for the beginners it's extra difficulty and despite being the best place to kite on the list i wouldn't recommend it for beginners it's extra factor to worry about and you can uh, get scratches on your knees or on your feet so you need to use shoes on the other hand if you are a little bit experienced if you can ride on your own there is beautiful place when you have a plenty of room for yourself there was day when i was kiting on my own so that's really big plus you can rent kite there there is no issue but remember so if you are learning if you're beginning they will take you with a boat outside so it costs a little bit more but overall the location is great the island is much smaller than Zanzibar but they have also few attractions to offer one of the most satisfying experience was a hike on the Lemon Brabant from which you can enjoy the beautiful view of the shore. The strongest point is food. You have taste from different regions of the world. You can have tried Hindu or Chinese food and of course also the famous Creole food. It's a mix of French, Spanish flavors with African and Hindu. If you like a variety of flavors, this is definitely place to go. So it's maybe not so big as Zanzibar, but you can have culinary trips here. Mauritius is also famous from rum production. The flight is similar to the one from Zanzibar, but connections are a little better. You have to count full day or night for traveling. Będziemy kontynuować wojnę. Nie gadam z tobą, mamy wojnę. No właśnie. Nagrywam zbrodnie wojenne. This is spot where I have my first session. You've got windy condition mostly during spring or autumn, which means it'll be a cold day in hell. And you need to use diving suit to survive. Wind is hard to predict. You can drive here for a windy weekend, but it is too risky to plan your holiday in advance. The biggest advantage is that you can reach the spot within a few hours. As the summary. Out of those four locations, best kiting spot for beginners would be Akiaka. It's easy to reach from Europe. You have shallow, warm water. The wind is onshore. There is a lot of schools and renting possibilities. So that makes this spot special. On the downside is the onshore wind, which causes that the spot is getting crowded. But for making first step, it's really amazing. And if you don't like it, you can explore all the food. So it is really recommended. If you get the right wind condition, I would go with Zanzibar. Then you have warm, shallow water, cross onshore wind, which causes that you can ride more freely. And it's an exotic place, so you can go to safari, you can go to Chicharro, you can do water sports. That's really experience which you will miss in places like Akiaka. And uh, on top of that, water is much warmer, bright sunshine. That's something you really enjoy. And if you already have some experience, then go to Blue Bay. That's definitely the spot when you want to enjoy the ride. Stable wind, basically every day, strong wind, so you feel confident controlling the kite. You can enjoy the whole location for yourself, but you have to keep in mind that the spot is small. If you are really making first steps, it will be difficult to enjoy it. You are like bound to those boats. Koźnica, Mekka, wszystkich foilarzy. Piękny dzień. Jakieś... And it'll be 